Hi, welcome back. You are watching Kolsky RC and today we're going to have a look at the Holystone HS165 which is a 1080p GPS foldable drone and it is small. So this is going to be the overview of the drone. I'm going to go through the app and everything and I'll have the flight footage up later because the weather in the UK is no as normal. Crap. So let's have a look at what you get in the box. So you get the drone. A box of access, let's figure it out, better, box of accessories and the controller, so let's just put all this lot down on the floor, okay. let's take a look at the drone first, so the drone like I said is the 1080p folding drone, it's small as you can probably see by its size, uh, it's smaller than the Vizio and stuff like that, it's quite a tiny little thing, it does have an SD card reader on the back which is nice, because a lot of these drones just record to the phone, which I don't like. It's got brushed geared motors, you can see the brushed motors here with the gears in the end and it has folding props that screw on, you do get a spare set props, I'll show you that in a minute. The battery goes in the back here, and the battery is a 7.4 volt, 880mAh battery, supposedly capable of 14 minutes flight time, can't verify that because I haven't flown it. The battery just simply slides in the back and it's got a set of connectors at the front. It does come with a proprietary charger, which is quite a strange thing. There's no USB charging on this. It, well, it's a USB charger, but it only um, charges at the back and it's only 1.2 amp rated, this charger. And it simply clips in there and then you just clip it out. So I quite like the charger, but I'm not the biggest fan of proprietary chargers on these toy grade drones. In this box you get the typical accessories, so you get a set of props as you can see there's a screw hole in the centre that screws through, so you get four spare props you get a screwdriver, you get a spare set of screws if you lose them for the props and you get the charger, another charger, which is actually for the controller which is rechargeable, it doesn't take double A batteries or triple A's your caution battery sticker, your typical holy stone book, this one's different, it doesn't come with a pen well, they've skimped on the price, they skimped on that, which is a bit weird when we discuss the price later. So the manual's in two languages by the looks. It's very comprehensive. It even shows you everything on the app, waypoint, follow, oh, you see the manual. Waypoint, follow me mode, return to home, how to calibrate, everything. There is absolutely everything in this manual. It's an excellent manual. Holy Stone tend to have decent manuals. I remember with the HS700 that I reviewed, the manual was awesome. But yeah, you get a lot of stuff with this. There's a lot of stuff you get on the manual in the manual. So that's your manual. I, like, I do like it. And in this box, we get a controller. So like I said before, the controller is rechargeable. This is a nice little touch. So this is the controller. Now, the weirdest thing is, if you get one of these and take it out of the box, you're going to think, well, it must take battery because it doesn't weigh anything. This is the lightest controller I think I've ever felt. I don't know what's in here, whether you can replace the battery. I can't seem to get it open. I certainly don't. I'm not going to put a screwdriver in, but you can't flick it with your finger. So the controller is... Let's take these off. Horrible. So this is the controller. So you've got a typical, by now quite a standard kind of pull-up, one that comes down, there's no screen on this one, locks down here, you've got obviously your left and right, which is reversible, so if you fly mode 1 like me, which is, not, I, I can fly either way now since I've been doing this, but if I hold the power switch down, if I sorry, turn it off, if I turn it on with the power switch down, and let go, you see it flash like mental, it flashed twice, I don't know if you probably see that pulsing, and that changes your mode, so you would now be in mode 1 or mode 2, this was on mode 1, so I'm now in mode 2. You have on the front of here your take off and land button, your return to home, your GPS because you can turn it on and off, your compass, uh, sorry your compass, your headless mode, your speed and rates and on this side you have a camera and video button, short press camera, long press video, it's a typical fair now on the controllers. It's a nice size, I don't, I can't say comment on that, I've never felt the controller this light, it doesn't feel like there's any batteries in it, so the battery in here must be tiny. Let's see if it does tell me on the back of here what's in this thing. It probably does tell you in this, um, somewhere on the description on Amazon for that, but really it's tiny. Turn that off. So let's just power the drone up. Battery in the back, like I said, little button underneath. 
long press on the button. Oh, sorry, I couldn't see I put the battery in properly. There you go, long press on the button. Get your flashing lights, typical flashing lights. And then controller, power on button here. And up and down to find the camera which I'm on. There you go, bound. So I've got GPS on, I've got GPS off, so I can fly it with no GPS. You can fly it indoors, it will take straight off if I do this. And then turn GPS back on again. Compass calibration, I think, is up and to the right. It does tell you in the manual, I'll show you in the flight video anyway. And it calibrates just in the same way, because I did calibrate it indoors yesterday just to make sure everything seemed to work as it should. So like I say, it's got a 1080p, but it's not adjustable, this camera, you can't move it up and down. It's a fixed position camera, which again, I find a little bit strange. It runs on, well, I'll show you the app actually, it runs on the Holy Stone app, but let's just connect it up to Wi-Fi. And the app you need to download is HSGPS V4. So here you go, so that's the app. So you've got help button, you've got gallery to show you what you've recorded if you want to record to you. So I believe, if I'm, I believe anyway, I'll double check this when we do the flight footage, but I believe if you press the button on the remote, it's going to be called to the SD card. If I press the button on the screen, it's going to be called to the phone. They tend to work that way. Yeah. Apart from one I tested the other week, which was the wrong way around. If we're going to fly, there you go, we're in the app. Compass calibrated, calibrated before flight in Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan, GPA or must be selected close in a second. I'll show you that what that means. If you go into your settings here and you go into your map, auto calibrate for China. We don't live in China, so we've got a problem with that. And your map down here, which does appear to work nicely. And then so this is the app. So into the app we go and we've got on the top of the screen, if you can read that, I thought yeah, you can read that perfectly. I'll have a screen recording and then we fly anywhere, but you've got altitude, distance, speed, vertical speed, horizontal, how many GPS coordinates you've got, the battery on the drone and the signal coming out of um, this. And on the other side you have if you press this one, the other way you get into your functions, but we can't do that because it's not got GPS lock. If you want to fly it in VR mode, should you want to do such a thing? Why you'd want to, I don't know. I'll take it out of VR mode now. I'll take it out of VR mode. When well, you ain't got a back button. Uh, camera, video, and there you shots. Return to home, take off and land, motor lock. And then to use this, you can fly it with the controller on the screen. Like I said, the map seems to work. And I do like the fact you can change your map to satellite and hybrid. I like hybrid. So if it's not got a GPS lock in here, so it probably won't bring up the hybrid map. There we go. We got. We must have some kind of something. You've got follow me, waypoint, and orbit mode. All these are in the manual. And it's really, really well explained how to use it. I may well go through them on the video. But as you probably know from watching my channel. I don't actually like any of them features. But I'll probably do a brief overview. And let you know if they work or not. So also in here you have your joystick. So if you wanted to fly mode 1 or mode 2 using the phone. You can change that here. You can accelerate. Accelerometer calibrate. Magnometer calibrate. Parameters. Default height, away points, etc, etc. I've used an app very similar to this before, but it looks slightly different. But this bit looks the same. Real-time preview. So you can have 480p back to your phone or 1080p. The lower that you have coming back to your phone, the better the chance you've got of keeping a decent FPV signal. And then you can inverse your camera. So do you want to do that and put it upside down? Why do you want to do that? I don't know. So that's the app. It's a nice app. I do like the look of the app and the phone, obviously. Just to show you, it does fit in here. This is an iPhone 7 Plus, so it's quite a large phone. It's got a case on it, and you can see I have loads of room, so I could probably get a really big phone in here. And it does seem to hold it quite well. It doesn't want to fall. It's not, well, when I say it doesn't want to fall out, I've seen far worse than this. It's not my favourite type of um, fitting. So. so, all in all, it looks a decent thing. I like the fit and finish. Everything seems well enough made. It's a little bit different looking than most of the stuff on the market. So, let's talk about the elephant in the room. This is Holy Stone. So Holy Stone charge a premium for the products. And the reason they charge premium for the products is they're sold through um, Amazon. Because they sell through Amazon, they obviously charge a premium. And that's because people return stuff. 
I'm as guilty as everybody else. If I buy something and I don't like it from Amazon, I send it back. That's the whole point of having an Amazon account. And it's next day delivery if you've got Prime, which I have, so I could get this next day. And I could get this next day. But here's the thing. The price of this thing is over £170. I can't actually remember how much it was. That is a hell of a lot of money for this drone. This camera better look outstanding for that. But I think if you're watching this video, you're probably going to know that it's not going to look £170 worth. So the question is, is it worth spending the extra money to get something off Amazon and get all them privileged? How much would you pay for that? How much would you pay for the fact that you get next day delivery and you get an excellent returns policy? Is it worth the premium amount of money that this drone now costs? The other reason they do that, they charge a prime, a prime price for these things is the fact that they'll constantly reduce them. So if you go onto the Amazon deal of the day things, you're probably going to find a lot of Holy Stone and Potensic stuff in there where they've not 30-40% off to bring it down to a sensible amount of money. So if you do like this drone, that's what I suggest you do when you've seen the second part of the video, is go check out Amazon Prime deals because you're probably going to find at some point this will drop. It won't yet because this has only just come into stock in the UK. I think it's been in stock in America for about a month or so in the US sites. So that's the best thing you can do. Check this out to see if you want to get it. I was sent this from Holy Stone, so uh, but it still comes the same way through Amazon and it's a lot of money. I'm not going to lie to you, my channel will be live on honest day and the fact is this is very, too expensive unless something startling happens with the camera. But let's see in the second part of the video. Thanks ever so much for watching and have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.